In this short video, I'll be showing you how to use Mocha to track all kinds of objects inside of After Effects and why I prefer using it over the built-in tracker to basically track anything that I need. So the first example is going to be this bouncing ball here. So let's say I want to track it and attach some text to it or anything like that. Typically, you would go into the track motion here and, I don't know, try to place this dot around an area, maybe here. But, you know, eventually it's not going to stick because there's not really a point that is consistent or anything to really hold on to. So, in this case, I am definitely going to be using Mocha and let me show you how easy it is to set up. So, let's add the Mocha AE effect here, which comes with your After Effects. And we'll go into the interface by clicking on this logo. Now, if your interface looks a little different, all you have to do is go into Workplace here and change it from Essentials to Classic or whatever you prefer to work with. I usually like to work with this one. So what we're going to do here is select the Pen tool here. And I'm simply going to draw a shape around our ball here. We don't have to be too accurate. We just want to grab most of the area to be able to track it. Then under Motion here, I am going to be disabling the scale because we don't need it. We only want the position to sort of track a text onto it. Then we'll click on this button here, which is track forward. So as you can see, it tracks pretty well and we don't even have to manually adjust it anywhere. But in case we do have some tracking going like this, for example, then we can go back into this frame here and just drag it to sort of manually adjust it and then keep tracking forward until we are happy with the result. So this is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and control S to save this tracking, exit out. Now we'll create a new null object here. And if you go into the Mocha effect here, create track data here, then export option will change it to transform and layer export will choose the null object and hit apply. So now we've got all the tracking data applied to this null object here. As you can see, the position, scale and rotation. We did unselect position and rotation, so we are not getting any changes here. We only have the position. So now if, for example, I create a text, I'll simply parent it to my null object. Let's position it and it tracks onto it pretty well. Now, another example is if we have a subject or anything getting over what we want to track. So, for example, if I want to track a poster or something onto this wall here, I have her going over it and it's going to be messing up our track. So, what we have to do is basically subtract her from the tracking area. And again, if we select our pen tool, let's select this area here and track forward. So, once she comes over this mask, it basically goes all over the place and we need to avoid that. So let's delete this mask for now. And I'm actually going to create a mask around her. Like so. And we can do this manually by just going forward here and adjusting it. Or go to the first frame and track forward. It should also work pretty well. Sometimes it might go all over the place. So you can adjust it manually. Track forward. And it basically works like keyframes. So once you stop the tracking, you can go ahead, adjust it and track forward again. All right, so now it should no longer be an issue. We can go ahead and lock this tracker by clicking on this lock icon. Then we'll create our new mask here. And we wanna make sure that our new layer is beneath the layer that is locked. So if we track forward now, you can see that she's not affecting our mask and it basically stays on pretty well. Now, this is the same thing you wanna do when tracking a phone and there is a finger involved in the screen or something, or anything that really gets in the way. So in a similar way, we'll go into our Mocha here, create track data, we'll select our layer three here, which is the pillar, click on OK, I'm gonna change this to transform, and select my null object, hit apply. So if I position this text over here, attach it to my null, it's going to stick along, and the tracking won't get messed up. Obviously, we need to rotoscope it if we want it to be behind her. So this is a pretty basic overview of how to use it and why you should use Mocha to track all kinds of things in After Effects. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.